Now let's discuss the main map page. You can tap the device avatar to see the information pop up and you can click the blue arrow to go to the individual device page for that device. You can also change the map style by tapping the map button in the top left corner. If your location services setting is activated, you should see a blue dot. This is your current location. You can tap the blue dot to see your current address. Now let's discuss the list page. The list page shows you all of your devices in a list format. The list page will also show you some vital information about each device. You can see the cellular, satellite, and battery indicators along with the date and time of the last locate. Simply tap a device to go to its device page. Now let's discuss the individual device page. Each device has a page that provides the location information and device settings. It is the same format for every device and it is the start of all the device specific information and changes that you can make. Let's go ahead and talk about what each piece of information means. The top left item will show the distance between you and your locator device as long as your location services are activated on your iOS device. If they are not, you will see GPS off. In order to turn on your location services, go to the settings area on your iOS device. Then tap the on off toggle switch next to location services. You will then see a row of individual apps below that. Go ahead and confirm that the toggle switch next to Pocket Finder is on. If it is not, tap the toggle to switch it back to on. The next item is the heading and speed. The next item to the right is the altitude. The far right items are the device indicators. The left indicator displays your cellular signal. The middle indicator shows your satellite signal strength and the right indicator displays the device's battery life. The row below that will show the full address for the device's most recent location. The green button on the right allows you to create an instant zone. This creates a zone that is 300 feet around your current location. You can edit this zone in the zone section. On the device map, you can use the two finger gesturing to zoom in or zoom out. The gray row just below the map displays the last time your device was located. Below that, there are a series of buttons that link to the device settings. You can tap and scroll down to see all the setting options. To return back to the main map page, click the back button in the top left corner.